Imagine doing a week's worth of SEO keyword research in a matter of minutes, knowing full well that you have the complete data and strategy to rank you number one, something an SEO would charge typically hundreds or thousands of dollars for. That is exactly what you can do when you connect Claude to real-time SEO data. And when you do this, it is absolutely mind-blowing. Let me show you the capabilities of it. So let's say I wanna do some keyword research around the word learn to do SEO with AI. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to go off and do my keyword research. And after a couple of minutes, uh, I have a detailed keyword research report with an executive summary, primary opportunities, primary keyword analysis, secondary keyword opportunities with the average search volume, the difficulty, the clusters, the emerging AI market cluster, AI search engine, meta AI, GPT search, that's a good one actually. Uh, search trend, fast growing keywords over the past 12 months and then strategic recommendations. So it's not only doing the research for me, but giving me a step-by-step -step guide. And I know that it's backed by high quality data because it's connected via an MCP connection to data for SEO. In this video, I'm gonna show you why doing keyword research with Claude without this connection is a bit of a waste of time. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how to connect this and then how to do keyword research with Claude. If you're new here, my name is Nico. I run a community called AI Ranking where we help over 500 small business owners and agency owners rank number one in the AR overviews, GPT search and perplexity. If you're interested, you can check it out with the link below, but let's get started right away. Doing keyword research or any other SEO task with Claude normally, meaning without this MCP connection, is great for idea generation, but you need to validate the data of those keywords. It's a little bit like looking at an iceberg and only seeing the top of the iceberg because everything else, the biggest component of it, is underneath the surface. And from an SEO metaphorical perspective, all of the important keyword information to make any SEO plan is beneath the surface. So whilst Claude can get us organized with a bit of a strategy, we need verification and that is where this comes in. Enough about that, let's get to this connection. If you've already connected this, because I've done other videos on it, you can skip through to the keyword research part. I'll make sure I leave chapters below. And if you haven't, let's get to connecting this thing right away. You're gonna need a couple of things to make this happen. One is a data, an account with data for SEO. You need to download and install Node.js and you need Claude for desktop because that's where all the MCP connections happen. You can't do this, unfortunately, in the browser, uh, in the browser component. You're gonna make an account with data for SEO and you need two main components. If you go to API key access, you'll need your login details and you need the API password, which you'll get by email if you click this send by email button. Once you've downloaded Node.js and installed it, you need to download Claude and install it as well. You also need some sort of IDE or a co coding visualization tool. With all of those parameters installed, I want you to open Claude in desktop. And you need to go to Claude settings and you'll have these three options, general, extensions, and developer. We want to go to developer and we want to edit config file. You won't see this data for SEO thing. So you'll have this empty. I want you to edit config file and it'll bring up the file that you need to edit. You just need to right click and open it with a, like I said, some kind of uh, code visualization tool. My go-to for this is Visual Code Studio and you're going to have to paste this exact copy there. You won't have anything in there or you have a tiny bit of code, you want to install that completely. And this bit of this bit of code, uh, in our community, I've got that code saved for everybody. It looks like this. Feel free to take a screenshot of that and copy it, I really don't mind. But this is the code that we need. Obviously, you need to change a couple of components. Where it says username, you need to pull your email. And where it says password, you need to put that API password from data for SEO that you got via email. So I'm gonna copy this whole thing. You need to copy this whole thing. Go back to the Claude config file. You need to paste it in there and save it. I've got this blurred purely from security, from a security component. I'm going to save that. And that is it. You don't need to change the location of that file. Leave everything as it is. Now, all you need to do is go back to Claude, 
quit Claude and start it up again, otherwise known as restarting Claude, sorry. And if you go to the search and tools section now, you'll see that we've got this connection data for SEO with 58 potential uh, access to different API calls. Now Claude has transformed into one of my favorite SEO tools. So before we get started into doing keyword research with Claude, what I want to do is a bit of a pro tip here is to go to settings. We want to go to general. We want to go to configure and under integrations. What you want to do is go to the data for SEO local integrations. Click on this three dots here and we're going to go to tools and settings. Now you'll see that some of these drop downs are set to or most of yours will be set to uh, always ask for permission. What you want to do is take your time just a little bit and set them to allow unsupervised. This is going to make your workflow a lot faster. You've seen that I've already done allow unsupervised for all of these. This is going to get rid of that uh, annoying little question that Claude asks every time. Do I have permission to run this tool? We've got, we want to give it permission to everything. So I've allowed unsupervised for everything. With that done, we can go and start a new conversation, a new chat. There is really two main ways that you can start doing your keyword research journey. And that is, if you don't have a website, you can say, these are the keywords that I want to rank for. Can you give me a bit of a keyword research strategy with, with similar keywords and all their data? Now, if you do have a website and you want to do keyword research, it's a little bit easy. You can paste the URL in there. Now, this is the very powerful thing, particularly if you have a website to do keyword research, because Claude can not only access SEO data, but it can understand contextually the all the components of that website and know which keywords it kind of needs to choose for you. So let's do that right away. I'm going to try the URL here and say, have a look at that URL, understand all the services, the location, and let's build a keyword research document with clustered keywords that we can follow and put it in an artifact that looks nice and modern. Now, you can also do competitor analysis. You can do on-site SEO to see why your website not work is not working or not ranking as well as you might want it to. But for now, let's just stick with the keyword research. You can see now that it's calling the data for SEO Google Labs keyword ideas. So this API has access to many really useful SEO APIs. So we're getting real live data from Google Keyword Idea Labs. And it's already understood. I haven't need to tell it the keywords because it has understood the context of the business and it knows that it needs to look for dog training, puppy training, anxiety, dog anxiety training, leash reactivity, dog training, and dog behaviorist because that's the, what they offer in terms of services. I didn't have to do anything. It also understood that the business is in Australia, so that's correct. So it's just making things so easy here. Perfect. And now let's look at the document here. So it's giving us a bit of an executive summary, uh, high opportunities. So let's take a look at the primary core dog training services. We got dog training near me, dog training courses, dog training school, how to train a dog, dog training at home, the same with puppy services, the same with anxiety, behavioral issues, so on and so forth, leash reactivity. Now, Here's the wonderful thing. It's also given me content ideas and it's content ideas based on high quality research. So not only did it give me the keyword research, but it's also said, hey, from your website and from the research, this is what you need to start doing and the blogs and the content you need to start writing. Now, what I would recommend you do is continue having a natural back and forth conversation into where should you start or if you want to really rank for a specific word in a certain location. It's got access to local keywords as well. So it can filter by location, not just the country, but the state and the suburbs and so on, if there's any search volume for those. So what if I don't have a website? Well, let's say I want to do some keyword research about learning uh, SEO with AI, for example. So I'm starting with, give me uh, keyword ideas around learning SEO with AI, um, potential similar keywords related. Let's build a bit of a clusters, maybe two, three or four clusters around this. 
Hey, sorry to interrupt the video. Whilst I was editing this, I realized that I was giving you a pretty poor way to do keyword research. So uh, in the video description below, you're gonna have this prompt on the screen here that's gonna make things a lot easier. So just inject this prompt to Claude once you've done all these connections and you need to fill out obviously the keyword research stuff uh, or the keywords that you want to kind of do some work around. I know that people love just kind of copy and paste prompts so I want to make these video a little bit more valuable so make sure that you use this prompt to make things easier once you've connected with everything. Back to the video. <laughs> Let's have a look what it found. So uh, clusters and that's how I recommend you start doing your keyword research because it's easy to organize yourself like that. So maybe for your business, for your website, think of three to four, at the max, five main uh, clusters that you want to kind of do some research around. So it's found here, a couple of clusters for AI SEO training course, uh, AI SEO tools and software, SEO learning, and AI enhanced SEO optimization, perfect. So it's already given me somewhere to start. And for all the clusters, it's given me some long tail keywords. It's even given me some follow up strategic recommendations. Now, the one downfall of this, because there are, it's not all kind of, it's not all incredible, is that Claude sometimes will run into limits. And if you're not paying the $100 subscription, you will find yourself hitting the chat conversation limits quite quickly with Claude. But if you're a small business or even a small agency, this can be an incredible tool. You can do keyword research very quickly in a natural conversation manner. So you don't only have to gather the data, synthesize it, and then turn it into an actionable plan. That whole circle is done within. A lot of people ask me, how accurate is the data from Data for SEO? How accurate is any SEO data, even from Ahrefs and SEMrush? It's very difficult to verify. The best way I can say, the best thing I can say is that it's more accurate than not having any data, put it that way. But in my experience, it's been really useful and fairly accurate. Now that you know how to do keyword research with Claude, the next step is to turn that keyword research into high valuable content that's going to help you rank in the AI search engine. And you can do that directly with Claude, but you need to know how to set it up correctly. And I've done a detailed video here that you should go watch that's gonna show you how to create a projects feature with Claude that's going to sound exactly like you, inject your experience when it's writing the content, understand the pain points of your audience, and even backlink to the correct sections of your website. And that's the type of content that tends to rank really well in this new AI search era. So you wanna go watch that now.